Hi, hi everyone, it's Marissa, aka Celeste Orchid, and thanks for tuning into my channel. So today's video is actually about a shopping haul that I did, and I'm really excited because this is the first time that I actually bought fabric here in Copenhagen. I went to this place called Stoff and Still. If you look here, this is what it's called, Stoff Oxdu. Um, is what it's called, stoffstill.com. We got quite a few things and then one giant surprise at the end, so be sure to stay tuned for that. One of the first things that we got was this pattern. Patterns look so different from what I'm used to in the small little packets, half the size, and it shows you the diagram here in the clear window. I haven't opened this, but we are going to be working on making fabric pumpkins for the season to come. So because of that, we got we got stuffing, and this is actual lamb wool fiber. So this is really interesting to have real wool fiber, and I'll be able to use this for other projects as well. And we got some elastane fabric, apparently. Uh, it's nice orange and bright, so be looking out on a future video for this polyester elastane fabric and the materials that I'm showing you now. So that's gonna be used for the pumpkin. And for the accent details, we also have this black. It's the same thing. They're just little half meters. They're not yards. And these are rib stretch jersey knits. So these are only 44.98 crown, which roughly is about like great. I've never seen clearance like this. This is the same fabric that I get for one of those jumpsuits. I had to retire one of my other jumpsuits and I threw it away. I regret it. I should have kept it for a pattern, but you know, moving is really hard. I got my favorite color, and this is how many yards? It doesn't say. It doesn't say how many meters. But the best thing is this one piece, which is huge and I mean it is just ginormous it just I think it's two meters it was only about 60 crowns 58 80 so this was 58 crowns that's almost ten dollars for this huge one piece and it looks I also got some thread black thread never hurts I need it because lots of things like this sweater ripping that's not fun and then I also had to get I had to have this in my life. I saw it a long time ago and I didn't buy it. I didn't post any pictures, but I did get two meters of this really amazing fabric. It was kind of expensive. It is a polyester knit fabric, just like the other two, but it's, it's a lot softer, so it's a polyester cotton blend. And it is baby sloths with their mom. So if you see here, this is what they look like. and. They're just like hanging out, just little sloths. So, just sloths here and there. I can I can fold it better, honestly. So it looks like that. I cannot wait to make things out of this. So that is the quick little haul for my first fabric store purchase. But there's one last thing that my husband got for me, and it was this giant sewing machine. This is the Burnett 30B. I am so excited. So this is kind of gonna turn into a mini opening video. Um, obviously it was really big and expensive. I can't wait to open it. So we're gonna do this together and preserve my memories. Okay, so here is my nice box. It is the Burnett B38. I'm really excited to be opening this with you guys. I'm using a needle because I can't find my sewing machine. I can't find any scissors right now, and that's just the life of a crafter. We end up losing all of our scissors. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. Alrighty. Here we are opening it. We have the instructions here. It has warning, this bed, keep this bag away from babies. Children do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. The thin film may cling to the nose and mouth, prevent building. This bag is not a toy. Um, 
anyone who does things like that definitely is just trying to kill their children. This is also instructions. Um, I will read it, but let's get to the main event. Oh, this is, these are two different instructions actually. So this one is a different instruction. It's a Swiss design sewing machine. So I'm not sure exactly which ma um, manual I need to read first in order to know how to set it up. Clearly this is not your everyday Singer sewing machine from Walmart or Joanne Fabrics. This machine, I know for a fact, is oh, it's a little heavier. Okay, so I got one piece out. Oh, this is the embroidery piece. Okay, this machine can do regular sewing machine work and do embroidery. So it has its nice little piece here that is an attachment. It looks like it has its own board and surface so that it meets the level where it sews. So we're gonna put that over there. Um, here's the sewing foot. Just for you guys out there who was wondering why I sold my sewing machine, it's because this is the plugs that we use now in Denmark, not the other prongs that we have in the United States. And I'm like, why am I going to bring a sewing machine if I can't use it? All right. See if uh, I can figure out how to grab this, pull this out. Oh, that was the cover. Okay, that, this is the cover for the sewing machine. Um, this way I can keep it dust free. Oh, here's the main event. It's definitely stuck in foam. And I mean, sorry, mom. Here is the baby. With this press, with the sewing foot. Very excited. It smells so new. It smells so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, it's mine. I liked it. <laughs> it smells so nice. And it's got a liquid crystal display. This is the area where I can change it for doing embroidery because that's where it comes off. Let me take out this little star foam piece. I could probably use this for felting. I'm so excited to turn you on. <laughs> wow, this is a lot heavier than I anticipated. And being in the box is so much easier. As expected, it did come in with extra little notions, such as a zipper foot, a... Oh, is that a Teflon foot? I think that's a Teflon foot. A rolling foot. I'm not sure what this one is. I've never seen that before but it came with extra bobbins so yeah and a little bit of thread holders let me just double check if there's anything else and there she is my new beautiful sewing machine let's turn this bad boy on let's reach over Wait, okay oh it's a flip up okay ready and does it does it love me yet no. Oh. It is on. Maybe it's got to charge more. Okay, let's go again. Round two. And we reach and... It's on! Oh, oh yes, we sweet joy. <laughs> yay, new sewing machine. Woo, yay. Sewing machine. for watching this video about my first haul that I've done with a sewing shop and it's more like a hobby shop it's really strange I've actually found some really cute things there and I can't wait to show you more videos of things that I create let me know in a comment down below what you thought was a good part of this video or anything leave me just say anything in the comments let me know I would like to start a conversation with you and I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye